I hear you're reading a boring book. Hmm. I sell talks too much. Oh, he never stops. Do you know Sir Hugh of the Vale? Not surprising. Until recently, he was only a squire, John Aaron's squire. He was knighted almost immediately after his master's untimely death. Knighted for what? Why are you telling me this? I promised Cap that I'd help you. Where is Sir Hugh? I'll speak to him. A singularly bad idea. Do you see that boy there? One of Varys's little birds. The spider has taken a great interest in your comings and goings. Now look, there. That one belongs to the queen. And do you see that scepter pretending to read her book? Larissa the queen. No, she's one of mine. Is there someone in your service whom you trust completely? Yes. The wiser answer was no, my lord. Get a message to this paragon of yours, discreetly. Send him to question Sir Hugh. After that, you might want him to visit a certain armorer in the city. He lives in a large house at the top of the Street of Steel. Why? I have my observers, as I said, and it's possible that they saw Lord Aaron visit this armorer several times in the weeks before his death. Lord Baelish, perhaps I was wrong to distrust you. Distrusting me was the wisest thing you've done since you climbed off your horse. Good Stark! Stop! Oh, all right. It's all right, let him through. Lord Stark, King Joffrey and the Queen Regent request your presence in the throne room. King Joffrey? King Robert is gone. The gods give him rest. All is accomplished, the city watch is yours. Good. Is Lord Renly joining us? I fear Lord Renly has left the city. He rode through the old gate an hour before dawn with Sir Loris Tyrell and some 50 retainers. Last seen galloping south in some haste 